Hello everyone on Facebook. This is John back again with another product review. Yes, this is the same setup and everything that I was on the last one because I'm literally doing it directly after. But it's a completely different product, so these are going to be different videos. This is another one in the line of series that I'm doing where I see something that is advertised to me on social media uh, that could be for me really Twitter Facebook and Instagram um, and this one was something that I kept on seeing a lot uh, I had a mild uh, interest in the product itself um, but like what really was interesting to me is the the dumb advertisements they had for it uh, so the product that I'm going to be looking at today is this Sour Strips Artificial Flavored Candy from the company's name is Actual Candy. Um, the company's name is Actual Candy, but all they sell are these Sour Strips. Um, they might be of a derivative of a larger company. That's what something I've seen lately is like, there'll be one company that makes a lot of stuff, but they'll have individual websites for a lot of their different products, um, especially places that advertise on social media. But the the advertisements for these are are, are just kind of cringy to me. Uh, they have like these like mainstream looking Instagram models, mostly girls, but I've seen uh, at least one guy. And what they do is like they take these candies. Now t uh, these is uh, these is three point seven ounces, and it's one hundred seventeen calories per serving. Three servings per package, so that's 330, 351 calories for the entire package. But what they do, is they have these Instagram-looking models um, who look like they might eat candy once a year, and like they they literally like cover their faces in these, or like they they ball them up in their hands and like they're just cascading over, like. Look, look how well these are, are bundled in here, right? So they must like take in each individual one and like layer it over their hands so that like it makes like this perfect flower bouquet um, situation. Which is insane because if you're going to enjoy this and eat these, you're going to open them and eat them. You're not going to like put it, take them out, lay them out in a, in a spirally bouquet to hold them. Uh, there's another picture where an uh, uh, Instagram looking model is literally lying in a pile of them and they're all spread out. Uh, a lot of, they do the ones where like they hold them in their hands and they look at it like cross-eyed. Um, what's another good one? Uh, they balled it up and put it in an ice cream cone and the lady is licking it. Uh, a lot of like other sugary things like drinks and donuts and uh, what else drinks and donuts a coffee coffee machine um, more ice cream a milkshake what else? a cotton candy because they had a they had a limited edition cotton candy flavor I don't have that one oh they got pumpkin one for the for the holiday but they're basically all the same thing uh, Instagram models doing weird things with their candy. Now, I'll tell you this. The, my interest in this is because sour candy is one of, if not my favorite, types of candy. Uh, I like sour gummy bears. I like sour gummy worms. Um, sour strips. I don't know if there was like a brand that made those before. Uh, those sour straws. I used to like those a lot. Um... Is there sour strips? I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and open these up. The flavors that I have are rainbow, strawberry, blue raspberry, tropical mango, green apple, and pink lemonade. Um, I don't think I necessarily need to open all of these to show you. And the only reason I have all of them 
is because literally the only way to purchase these are in large packs because uh, I don't think they're available in stores although they are okay they are they're sitting in some 7-elevens and in a, a smoke and vape shop but literally the closest one to me is about 12 miles away is the closest one that has this so I can either drive 12 miles to pick these up and get maybe a pack or you can order them online and you can only buy them in packs of six at the least so if I'm gonna get six packs I went ahead and got their uh, what they call the starter pack they have a starter pack a variety pack an original pack a newbie pack and then you can buy them individually by flavor even if you buy it by flavor they're still come in six packs so you're gonna get six packages no matter what and they only have these six flavors so it's weird the variety pack has these six the starter pack also has these six but the variety pack has 12 so it's like the first thing you see on there is variety pack you think you're getting the variety of all of them but you can also get a variety of all of them for cheaper the starter pack the original pack has two of three kinds and the newbie pack has two of the other three kinds I don't know why you have an original pack and a newbie pack and a starter pack it doesn't make sense just have one variety pack that has all of them in there don't try to trick people into ordering the wrong thing it's kinda dubious anyway I think a good one to try is the rainbow it has green red yellow and blue parts to it and you know at the end of the day these are all probably very much flavored the same way sugar glucose fructose syrup wheat flour malic acid that's what makes it sour dextrose palm oil citric acid artificial flavorings artificial colors um, turmeric oleuracin which has its for color ascorbic acid and tocopherols tocopherols I've never heard that word before best by September 2021 tocopherols let's open it up at one point I was thinking I should do a uh, thumbnail for this video where I try to imitate their social media posts and do something stupid with these but I just don't want to all right let's just let me just get the whole thing out so you can see what it looks like I might not be able to get that back in properly anyway trying to shake off some sugar here before I put it next to the camera because I don't want sugar all over my desk look at that that's one pack of the rainbow these smell very good like going by smell alone very fruity all right let's go ahead and taste this rainbow sour strip Oh. 
first thing I'm going to say, I enjoyed that. That was tasty. Let me further explain. You know, a lot of times you get candy at a, at a gas station. You have no idea how long it's been there. Sometimes you don't look at the sell-by date till you get a couple miles down the road and you paid 99 cents for a bag of some gummy worms, so it's not like you're going to go back and complain about that. But sometimes you just get an old pack and they're not fresh. They're a little bit too hard to chew. A little stale. These ones, they're super fresh. I can tell because they're soft. They hold their shape while they're in the bag and you're holding them, but they they give easy. They're an al dente gummy. Just enough uh, structure to, to hold a little pressure against your bite. But then, easy to chew. It's sour throughout. There was no... Sometimes you have sour things like... Sour is like just on the very edge of it. And once like you, you have it in your mouth for a little bit, sour's gone. This one has sour throughout. It's chewy, it's fruity. I'm gonna try a couple more of these just because I wanna taste some specific flavors. I'm not gonna do strawberry, because I think strawberry, blue raspberry, and green apple are kind of you, you they're flavors that candies have been good at replicating. I have a feeling I know what blue raspberry, green apple, and strawberry are going to taste like. So we're going to go with the mango and the pink lemonade. And try those two. See, especially mango. Like, is that something... Let's save that for last. The pink lemonade now. But like, is it an accurate flavor description? Because if they, they say they're, they're coming out with more flavors... Um, some limited time offerings. One was cotton candy. I purposely didn't get the cotton candy just because, like, in my mind, I think cotton candy and sour just aren't two flavors that go together. I could be wrong. They're also easy to pull out of the bag. See how it's looped there? The top one that I could grab was the one, like, right in the middle of that loop. So when I pulled it, it easily came out. It's kind of like a, a box of Kleenex almost, how they have it set up. Easy to pull out the top without pulling all of them out. Let's give this pink lemonade sour strip a taste. Okay. You might be asking, does pink lemonade have a different taste than yellow lemonade? And sometimes they don't, right? Sometimes it's just a food coloring. Sometimes you can taste just like a hint of maybe like a strawberry or some like fruit punchy or cherry. Some kind of definitely not pure lemon flavor. Or who knows, maybe they're made of pink lemons. I don't think those exist, but maybe I'm, I'm, I'm giving that a chance of being something. So don't tell me in the comments that I'm wrong if you figure out that they actually exist. I'm giving that a chance to actually exist. I've just never seen them yet. Interestingly enough, the lemonade one, I think lemons are probably a very sour fruit. Compared to the rainbow, this one had less sourness overall to it. Still plenty sour. I enjoyed it a lot. And I think what they did that, they toned down this one. This is me speculating. It would just be a pure chance. But I think they have the, the, the food scientists there, and they're calculating how much of what to put into each thing. They were tasting this one, and they said, in order to get that pink lemonade flavor correct, we need to bring down the sourness just a scotch. Just so that flavor of pink lemonade comes through and it's not just super sour. But I like these ones, the pink lemonade ones. They're still sour enough. Now we're going to try tropical mango. Sometimes words like tropical 
I don't know if it, it, it just has to be someone in marketing who decided, you know, you can't just call it mango. You have to call it tropical mango. It's 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 a buzzword that will set off something in people's brains. And if you just say mango, they're not they're not going to be that interested. But if you say tropical mango, you'll get people interested. This smells like a pina colada. And like a pina colada is pineapples and coconut and some cream and stuff and alcohol, but maybe that's the tropical part of this. Maybe a tropical explosion of flavor with just the right amount of sour. So maybe this tropical mango, the tropical is, maybe there's some pineapple-eatiness to it or some coconut-eatiness to it. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Wow. This one was more sour than the pink lemonade one. But definitely I'm gonna I'm gonna go back on something I said here. It wasn't a marketing person who came up with that word tropical mango. It was the people developing this flavor. Because it's not just straight up mango. To me, mango has, like, the closest other fruit I can explain it to would be a peach. It has a, a peach quality in the flavor, um, but but it's got some of its own th stuff going on. This one, you definitely taste that mango, but there's other things in there. I think, just like I said, maybe there's some pineapple, maybe there's some coconut, but... Uh, it's not just mango, so maybe that's why it's tropical mango. Because there's some offsetting flavors to it that make it more than just mango. Now, see, now I'm interested in the other flavors that I haven't tried yet. So, bonus, you're going to get to see me try all three of them. The other three of them, anyway. Let's go with green apple next. Again, it pulls out so easy. I'm like... It's this long, but the bag's this big, so you, you can see it's curled up. You know it's curled up in there, but the way they put it in there, they're easy to pull out. We're going to go ahead and try the green apple. Notice something here. Pink lemonade says naturally flavored candy. In the ingredients, it says natural flavoring. Same with tropical mango, natural natural flavor. Rainbow is artificial flavoring. And the ingredients it says artificial flavoring. This was not made with actual rainbow flavoring, people. It was artificial. And the green apple one also says artificially flavored. And both the blue raspberry and strawberry also say artificially flavored. So, of all these, only the pink lemonade and the, the tropical mango are naturally flavored. I say that to say this. This green apple one tastes more apple-y than any green apple flavored thing I've ever had. But it says it's artificial flavoring. Which is why I checked in the first place. Alright, let's go to strawberry. We'll say um, one thing about the green apple, especially like green apple flavorings in like uh, Jolly Ranchers, sometimes they get like a really harsh flavor to it. Not in the case in this one. Strawberry sour straw. There we go. Open her up. Let's see if it pulls out nice and easy. Should I grabbing just one? See, I like that. I like that it doesn't pull out the whole bag. You get one at a time. Strawberry. I also gotta say, if I haven't mentioned this yet, the smells coming out of each, each bag when I first open it up, it hits you. It's delicious. Okay. 
Don't get me wrong, this one's not bad. I like this one. But this one, the strawberry flavored, this is the first one that I was like, oh yeah, I've tasted this before. Like I've had green apple flavor things before. But that one had a uniqueness to it. The strawberry one that I just tried, it tastes like any other strawberry flavored thing I've ever had. Even even sour strawberry stuff. It tastes it tastes non unique. Let's try the blue raspberry. One. Not saying that's bad, because a lot of those strawberry flavor stuff I like. That's interesting. It's not like a blue raspberry smell I've smelled before. The strawberry one, it did have a good smell of strawberry. That's one thing across the board, I'll say. I think it's because of the freshness, and maybe because of the quality of the stuff they use. They all smell really good. Well, here's something interesting. The blue raspberry one has a stripe going to it. There's a dark blue and a light blue. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Similar to the strawberry one, this has some flavors that I, I, I recognize. Like I've had definitely blue raspberry stuff that tastes like this. But whereas the strawberry one, it was an identical flavor, the blueberry one has something more to it almost tastes kind of bubblegum like it's weird right okay overall these sour strip candies I've, I've liked them all um, I'm definitely gonna share these with some other people but part of me is thinking like you should just save all these for yourself because they're good you're gonna miss them when they're gone it is uh, 1999 for for what I got six bags and that's regardless of what kind of pack you get what kind of flavors you get $19.99 for a six pack the variety pack where you get 12 is $35.99 so you're saving some money I think it's like four bucks you're gonna save there um, so that's two dollars per pack you're gonna save if you get the, the 12 pack um, I'm probably not going to order these again just because I, though I like these kind of candies and I like these kind of snacks it's not something that I, I put in my diet all the time really in fact like this is the kind of thing like I get on a gas station stop on a long road trip going for a bathroom break you want to get a snack they always got the, those racks that have all the, the 99 cent packs of candy and I always get something one thing I really like to get is like sour gummy worms. So this kind of hits that spot there, but it's kind of like a premium option. So if they're twenty dollars for six, it means you're paying ten dollars for three. So it's like three dollars and thirty-three cents per bag if you're doing the math there. Uh, then you gotta do shipping. There's free shipping if you do over fifty dollars or seventy-five. If you're in Canada, sorry. But uh, if sour candy is something that really interests you, and you want to taste a really premium version of that, go to this website. It's sourstrips.com. It's just sourstrips.com. Uh, not sponsored. I'm not going to get any money from that. Uh, this is just to inform you what I think and what uh, I think you should do with your money. If you like, if you are really a connoisseur of sour stuff and you want to try something premium, this is one thing to try. Um, before I end this, I'm just going to give you, uh, just to, to wrap this up, which ones I like the best since I've tried all of them. I want to say I like all of them. There's no one, there's no reason I don't like. And, oh yeah, I got to give a rating too. That's what you do on these YouTube videos, right? I'm going to give these sour strips. A nine and a half out of ten. I'm going to give them a nine and a half and not a ten because I want them to see this and I want them to know they have room to improve because everyone can do a little bit better. 
Strawberry is my least favorite out of these. Um, just because it tastes like something I can get literally anywhere. Uh, next, I'm going to say green apple. After strawberry, it gets a little bit hard. But green apple is next. Then blue raspberry. Then the final three, I'm going to say pink lemonade is number three. Again, I really like this one. It's the, Ironically, the lemon one is the least sour out of the whole bunch. But I explained that. My theory is why before. Number two, I'm going to say rainbow. This one was the first one I tried, but I really like it. It has, it's like a fruit punch almost flavor. And my favorite out of all of these is the tropical mango, just because it has a complexity that none of, the, none of these other have. It says, it's just, the only fruit it says on here is mango, but I'm tasting pineapple, I'm tasting coconut. I think that has to do with the smells that I'm smelling too, because you know, your smell is attached to your flavor, parts of your brain, you know, science. And it's just the best one. Currently on the website, those are the only six they had. Like I said before, they used to have a limited edition cotton candy. It may come back. And if this video gets like a thousand views, then I might order that one and do a review just of that one. Uh, this isn't a challenge for you to get these views. This is just me saying I have some interest in it, but if the viewers don't have any interest in it, then what's the point? Um, so that's it. That's the review. Sour Strips. Actual candy. Do they make any other actual candy? Not right now. Just Sour Strips. So why isn't their business called Sour Strips? Maybe they're thinking of making some other candy. Who knows? Maybe I'm getting too much into the weeds about what their name is and why they chose to name the things what they chose to name them. Anyway, that's it for this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All of my videos like them right now. Bye.